in a second later. Michael. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how to follow that except to say that um, I'm the no hair of the panel. Um, so, um, and I'm just going to find the clicker here. Thank you. All right, so I'm uh, Michael Laskoff I'm from Able2. I'm the founder and CEO, and I want to thank everyone for so patiently sitting through this and the organizers, of course. And um, I get here a little bit differently than most people. I started on my way here four years ago when I was officially diagnosed with having ADD, and, um, which changes your perspective a little bit on life. And I knew I wanted help, but I did not want to lie on a couch, very much not so. I wanted something that was a proven result for myself, and frankly, I couldn't find it, which led to a variety of interesting things. Basically, it's pretty simple in this country. Five to seven percent of all expenditures on health go to behavioral health. That's about $100 billion annually as of next year. Um, there are many effective therapies that are currently available, but they're not widely used. Your therapist is under no obligation to use them. And the current system really doesn't work in that it harms patients, providers, and frankly, payers, insurance companies, at large employers, that sort of thing. So we set out to do a little bit better, hopefully. And we have a different approach. And I'm going to read this because I want to get it right. Today, able to sells mental health programs to health plans and large employers that help people overcome mental health conditions more effectively than with traditional therapy. That's a lot of words. I'm going to try to break down some of the principal things we do to change things. Number one of fun, three fundamental changes. We use structure. Instead of an open-ended approach to therapy, we use finite manuals that we create ourselves um, so that we can measure outcomes. It's pretty profound what happens when you do that. Number two, we use teams. Instead of a single provider, we use a therapist backed with a behavioral coach because they can get results faster. And number three, we make attendance dirt simple and easy by providing it to people at home using phone or, of course, video. And it's because of this approach, it's overcoming those real impediments, why Aetna, frankly, got on board, as you're about to see. I'm going to show you a quick demo, and then we'll talk more about it after. Um, here we go. Just, whoop, nope, too far. Can we have the, um, cue the video? I want to stay consistent on Matthew's theme of, there we go. Okay, so this is Eric, real person. Hi, I'm Eric. Several months ago, a heart attack left me anxious and detached. Aetna suggested I try Able To's Cardiac Health Forum. I hadn't considered therapy, but I like that I can meet my therapist and my coach online. I'm Jamie, Eric's therapist. I also like the convenience. It allows me to actively practice my profession while also being a stay-at-home mom. And while Eric only sees this simple screen, I have many more tools at my disposal. The program manual is embedded in my session view, so I can easily deliver consistent help to my patients and record their progress. I like that. And when I finish a session, I save my notes into a common chart that's immediately available to Tom, Eric's coach. Tom and I work together throughout the program, sharing notes and meeting regularly to discuss Eric's progress. Hi, I'm Tom, Eric's coach. I meet with Eric weekly. Sometimes I'm helping him with exercises. Often, I'm just providing him with the support he needs to try something new for the first time. It's true. Sometimes I need a little motivation. But I'm making changes. I feel like I'm in control. I don't overreact as much. I'm getting busy getting on with my life. OK, so just to review, this is something we really do today. And the reason we did this kind of demo is because it's very hard to actually picture what it is that something like this does when you're trying to change behavior. Um, but it works for everyone. So Eric, he gets better faster. If you have a heart attack, you have a, basically a 20 to 40 percent chance of suffering from depression. And if you suffer from depression, you're twice as likely to have another heart attack. So Eric gets better health potentially through this. Providers really like this. There are a couple hundred thousand underemployed LCSWs in the United States. We very effectively tap them. And Edna likes this too, because if you think about avoiding a single emergency room visit, never mind a full-blown cardiac event, the savings are pretty staggering. And a lot of people have a great deal of skepticism about mental and behavioral health, but the fact of the matter is it's too big to ignore and it's really changing today. Large players are really starting to do things very quietly, but that are quite consequential. For example, Johnson & Johnson's Health Media Group is 
inching its way toward this market. Um, not much public yet, but you hear a lot about it. Teladoc, in a related space that some of you know very well about here, just raised another $18.6 million. Now, they're not mental health, but they are doing remote, th they're doing remote treatment. So that's something that's growing. And Aetna likes this approach enough so that while we introduced Cardiac Health Forum just in August, we are already rolling out a second program with them called Resilience for Depression. And we're doubling the number of states in which it's available to people. And for anybody who's worked with Aetna, that kind of speed is unusual. Um, <laughs> as you may have read about in Forbes, we're also helping people um, on the corporate side. Our momentum program is helping with work retention at large law firms. We have a great team, of which I'm probably the least. Our head of operations uh, spent 20 years, most recently as a uh, partner at Accenture, plus has a great deal of entrepreneurial experience. Our technologist, our head technologist comes from IBM, and our clinical board, they're really actually first rate. Um, and of course, um, we're doing pretty well. Uh, we're gonna turn cash flow positive this year, assuming that everything goes according to plan, and it's doing pretty well on that. Um, and it raises an interesting um, sort of question, which is why be here at all? Why raise money? And the simple answer is growth. Um, no, matter how we, no matter how much we like to talk about being lean and scrappy, the simple fact is this. We need more salespeople. We need account management. We need more people to manage our growing network of providers. And if we do that, um, what we've built in uh, this year, we can expand really tremendously next year. So we're looking for capital for those specific things. Um, we're able to. I want to thank you, and I particularly want to thank um, the good folks at DC to VC for making all this happen. So thank you for.